Welcome back. Employees at some of the largest drug chain stores, places like CVS, Walgreens, they launched a new series of walkouts yesterday. It's a three-day walkout being called Farmageddon by workers, so it's set to go until tomorrow. The move has even received support from the American Pharmacists Association, who wrote in a statement saying they stand, quote, with every pharmacist who participated in the walkout. Let's bring in NBC News correspondent Stephen Romo, who's been following this for us. Hi, Stephen. Good morning. So big news here. So tell us, why are they walking out? What are the conditions that they're under? But then also, since they're not part of a union, what type of repercussions could they face for a walkout? Yeah, that's made it more complicated since they are not part of a union. But all the pharmacists we've talked to, they really emphasize just how much they're working. They say this is not yeah. about money. It is about workload. They say they're being asked to do so much more. Uh, vaccinations have been a big part of it ever since. It was actually before the pandemic. But since COVID, it has just been so much focused on the actual vaccination instead of they want to spend more time on each and indiv individual prescription they have to fill. They say they're not getting enough time to actually do that. They're also, of course, fielding phone calls. And the repercussion part of this, they are protected by a union. So a lot of pharmacists that we've talked to are either afraid to give their first and last names in this situation wow. because they don't know exactly what's going to happen. Others, though, they are giving their names. They're saying this is a big enough issue that they do want their names out there. And they do emphasize that it is about patient safety and not about pay. You know, even anecdotally, I think you can feel it sometimes when you go to a pharmacy, how, how stressed they seem, how long it can take to get something filled. It, it, I totally understand. Um, have we heard from any of the pharmacies regarding this strike or any of them responding to it? I know workers at both CVS and Walgreens have staged separate walkouts, which actually led to the stores being closed. Are we hearing anything on that front? Yeah, these uh, mostly these walkouts are affecting the big pharmacies, CVS, Walgreens, and Rite Aid. We have heard from each of the three of them, all saying along the same lines that they are hearing their pharmacists and their farm technicians, mm. and they are working to try to make things uh, more efficient, to utilize the staff that they have while recruiting more staff as well to try to balance things out. But what the workers actually want are firm answers and policy changes in writing and not just statements released to the media about how they're working toward it. They'd like some solid answers about how to reduce this workload and keep their stores open. We have heard about some pharmacies having to close because of these staffing issues, and that could be something that affects patients. So, Stephen, what does this mean for customers? If you've got a medication that you need, it's at the counter. Some cases, of course, it might be medicine that's life-saving. What does this mean for a customer? Yeah, well, this uh, strike will continue until tomorrow with people walking out. That could mean the closures of some pharmacies. So they are asking patients, uh, advising them, go ahead and call ahead before you go in just to make sure. But ultimately, overall, this issue with the industry as a whole has created a lot of concerns. You mentioned the wait times. We've talked to customers who say they experience a long wait at many of these places or mm. getting text messages that their prescription's ready only to show up and the prescription's actually not ready. So a lot of frustration, both on behalf of pharmacy workers and customers about the situation at pharmacies asking for some change here. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.